Hello, friends and neighbors. How you doing? JT here. Welcome to another video. I've got a really cool video for you today. I'm going to do an unboxing video. I haven't done one of those in a long time. And for the first time, I'm going to unbox some hankies. Yes, hankies. I know this is Moto Knives and Guns by, D by JT, but you know what? Every now and then it's nice to get something different. So let's get right into it. What is the knife of choice today? How about this Otter Messer anchor knife? And pardon my hands, I've been doing the yard work all day and I can't get this like stuff off my hands. Um, and I put a little lanyard on there. This is my first lanyard, by the way. Did I show this in my first video? I don't know if I did or not, but uh, I think it came out pretty decent. A uh, little touch of nine millimeter casing in there. And um, let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, that's right. So I found this guy on Etsy, and I've never had hankies before, <laughs> but you know what? Um, I thought it'd be something different and cool. What's this? Did he give me, send me drugs, pills? What is this? Oh, cool. Tic Tacs. You know what, man? Anything. This just says class. When, when people send you extra stuff, it just says class all right so i really i really i really like that um so i'm gonna give this guy a plug it is down range hanks and you can find it on etsy and let's see what we got so i think he called this more stuff this is, this is so cool i think he called this the 70s hanky but um these are about 10 10 by 10 all right and man really nice material this guy right downrange hanks and that's this side made in the usa this guy is hailing from south carolina and i think i i think he's worth a plus oh he sent me another one wait a minute i ordered two he sent me three wait a minute he sent me three and some extra pattern. I don't think I ordered this one. So cool. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. I think the guy's name is Eric. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate that. So downrange Hanks. And um, this is nice to just have in your back pocket as you're working. Or you know what we're going to do? We're going to use these as our backdrop today. How about that? Let's put this over here. Too much stuff and put this over here and this over here how about that i know it's kind of crazy but he sent me two these like little this is cool for like i don't know whatever put something in right there boom that's a backdrop today and i think you didn't send me a business card all right no business card um in the other YouTube video I saw, he sent a business card. But uh, you can check him out on Etsy, Downrange Hanks. And I really appreciate all the stuff. And it came in a little pouch. Cool. This is this is class stuff, man. And a very reasonable price. And made in the USA. I appreciate that. All right. We're going to get right into the unboxing. Ah, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, you guys are costing me a pretty penny well anyway so what i thought i'd do today was an unboxing video of some of their um rough rider line and i think this is exclusive well not exclusive but i think um smoky mountain knife works really uh really does a really good job with their rough rider line and one thing about rough rider is they're affordable and I'm telling you, their their quality is really good. I forgot what I got, so bear with me. We're going to open this together. But um, I'll tell you right now, everything I got in here um, costs less than a Benchmade. Um, uh, oh, man. I forgot the name of it. Um, their, their folding knife, their, uh, their jackknife. Ah, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway less than 150 bucks for all this stuff um and for the price of it man you really can't beat it so let's see first of all i'm gonna need a list of all this stuff i got I'll put it over here okay so 
I forgot what I ordered, so bear with me here. Let's get right into this Rough Rider. They don't have names, just numbers. RR237. RR237. I think this is going to be the Rough Rider folder in blue stone wash. I'm looking at my receipt here. And wow, that's really cool. It's very small, nice half stop. Really cool. What, what is this? It just says RR2237 China. They are made in China, but you know what? I think their quality is excellent. Nice little, nice, when, it, when they say denim, it's, uh, it's just a denim type of, of, a, of, a, of a finish. It's still, I think it's an aluminum frame. But nice half stop and nice closure right there. That is the Rough Rider folder blue in Stonewash. So let's keep going here. All right. The next one is the RR347. The RR347. This is the Rough Rider small leg knife. I've never had a lady leg knife. This is my first one. And... You know, I've, <laughs> don't laugh, it's, it's really cool. I just, I just think, I just think these lady leg knives are, are, are very, they're very historical. They've been around for about a hundred years now. And legend has it that you can open a bottle of beer with it. Uh, I don't know what type of metal this is, but I think it's really cool. This is Albanite, Al, Ala, Alba, Abalonite. <laughs> <laughs> Abalonite, is my saying it right? But it's really cool. Um, this is a nice, I think it's a two and a half inch, two and a quarter inch blade. There's no half stop here, but um, I think they make good conversation pieces. And I will have to test to see if this is gonna open a bottle of beer. All right, next one up. Let's stick with the Rough Riders. This is the RR1597, RR1597. And this is the Rough Rider Fish Knife in Copper. Let's see what this looks like. And I'll tell you why they call this the fish knife. I'll tell you right now. Well, cool little fishing hook right there. That's nice. And has brass bolsters. But look at this finish. Look at this. I don't see any gaps here. I mean, it's nice and smooth. No half stop. Um, the pull is about, it's an easy pull. I'm going to say about maybe a, maybe like a three or a four. It's a really soft, soft pull. Um, what's this? Can anyone tell me what this thing is right here? I don't know what that is. No idea. Um, all right. So here's a complaint I have right here. I'm not crazy about that. So here's a, uh, it's got a little ruler on there. Bottle opener? I don't know. And this is your descaler. And that's to take out hooks, I take it. But um, yeah, this is this is no, this is like a like a toy here. Um, would I use this as a real fish knife? I don't know. I, I kind of thought about getting this for my son because he likes to fish. But I don't know. To me, this is more like a novelty. I'm not really impressed with the, uh, with this. Watch this, see? Not, not impressed with that. Doesn't close it. This is a really, really weak spring. So that's going to be iffy, to say the least. Okay? Can't, can't beat them all. All right. Let's stick with the Rough Riders here. RR2181. RR2181. Which is not on my list here. What is this? Ah, this is the work knife. The denim work knife. Okay, I think this is Micarta. And I think, ooh, nice half stop. We've got, uh, doesn't say what type of steel it is, but I think it's D2 steel, if I'm not mistaken. But really nice. Look at, look at the, the finish is really, really cool here. Um, I don't know if these are nickel bolsters or what, but nice lanyard hole. But, uh, Warncliffe blade, I'm digging it. Nice and sharp. 
Walk and talk is nice. Half stop. Pull is about a five, if that. Um, yeah, it's the Rough Rider, Rough Rider Denim Micarta Work Knife. And these go for about 14 bucks. That's a nice one. I like that. The bolsters are nice. And uh, these pins are can't be any more flush. They are just perfectly flush. Nice pull. I'm going to say about five, maybe five and a half pull. This gets a pass. I like this. All right, let's keep going. Now we are into a freebie. So I guess now anything over $40, they give you this uh, Parkit uh, sharpener. I think $49. So let's, let's see if this is a freebie. Let's see if this is worth anything here. Ooh, butterfly knife type. So you've got your coarse and you've got your fine. 400 on one side and 1,000 on the other side. Nice. No, you cannot use this as a battle song. I mean, it's <laughs> for free. What the heck? Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Let's keep going here. Drop my list. All right. This is the RR2496, the Rough Rider Large Toothpick in Moon Glow. Yes, these are glow in the dark. And, you know, I, this is my second toothpick. I had one before, and... Um, I didn't think I'd like it, but I really do. I like this toothpick. It uh, does not have a half stop. The pull is, again, it's an easy pull. I'm going to say about four, but it's consistent. And nice snap at the end. Tiny bit of gapping right there, but you know what? This is this is a $12 knife. I mean, it's nickel bolsters. I mean, um, this is cool. Glow in the dark. I kind of like this. This is not carbon steel. It's 440 stainless. So that is, again, the Rough Rider Large Toothpick in Moonglow. Let's keep going here. Whoa. I don't know what this is. What is this? Let's just open it. Oh, it's a boker. Got it. Okay, so this is supposed to be cool. Right here we have the Boker Razor Jack, dark blue with a red shield. Nice tree shield here. It is a little smaller than, than I expected. Um, so this is a Boker and they call it the Razor because of this type of a blade. It's got the tree brand on it there on the blade. Um, it is kind of a weak spring, and there's there's really, you don't have a really good snap at the end. It just kind of goes bleh. Um, it does have somewhat of a half stop, but not very strong half stop. And the pull is about a three. But again, you're not, this is not the uh, premium uh, boker. Um, these are in the 20s, and it's got a little opener there you know i would i was expecting more I, I was expecting more out of this i mean for this price you might as well just get a rough rider this this pull is really weak this is a very non-eventful pull and non-eventful so i don't know for 25 bucks i might return this seriously i'm not too uh i'm not too crazy about it. i was expecting more out of that all right Let's keep going here. What do we have here? The RR2347, and this is the Denim Macarta Work Knife. Faded blue jeans with orange underlines. All right, now this is cool. Hello, if I can get out of here. So what we have here, they call it a work knife, but this is very, very similar. To your um oh my goodness what well, I can't think today who's got a it's a lock back wow that is that is really nice let's look at the 
the spacing here. We've got a little bit of an offset there. Um, this is 440 stainless and it's razor sharp steel. Kind of a dagger-ish type blade. And man, you got a nice Rough Rider shield on there. Uh, the pins are nice and flush. These are Micarta handles. Man, these are, this is really nice. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, for, um, for this price, again, these are about 12 bucks. You can't beat this. This snap is, is nice. This snaps into place and locks solid. So they call it a work knife because it locks. That's in there solid. I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. Um, I think so far out of all these, I think two might go back. But that's cool. I am digging that. All right. Let's keep going. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. This is the last one. Okay, this is special. So I've been looking at this for a little bit. This is the Winchester Medium Trapper Brown in checkered bone. And it comes as a really cool little cigar box. I, 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 had high, I, had, I have high expectations for this. I hope it's going to live up to its expectations. Um... Wow, that's nice, and that's nice. Okay, I'm impressed by this. Winchester. So it's made in China. It's got a nice little big sticker there that reminds you of that. But these, I think these are made by Baron Son. If they're not, please correct me. Nice match strike pull on there, and it's it this is solid you can tell that this is a well-made knife the pull is about a five half stop walk and talk is nice very pronounced snap and the spring is really nice on here i think these are nickel nickel plated nickel bolsters with brass inserts or stainless steel i'm not sure what's the other blade here the other blade is a Nice, spade blade. I'm digging that. All right, so this is um, this is nice. All right, so so this gets a pass. I really enjoy that. And it says Winchester, nice thirty caliber bullet on there. Let's look at the spacing. This is nice. This is a keeper. This is uh, I'm I'm very impressed with how this feels. It feels nice in the hand. It's got a little bit of a palm swell on there. And I'll tell you what, man. They only make so many of these. I don't know. They're not numbered. But I'm impressed. Cool box. <laughs> Honestly, I was looking forward to this with as forward to the box as much as the as much as the uh the knife. Well anyway, that's that's it for today. Um I hope that you have enjoyed this unboxing of these knives. Um Again, I think that this fish knife and this, uh, where'd it go? Hello, Boker. Where'd the Boker go? This Boker, I gotta get returned. Uh, I'm just not impressed with it. It's just a meh. Meh. I, I, I'm expecting more for 24 bucks. I'm sorry. I'd, I'd rather get a Rough Rider than this. And this thing is is a novelty. I'm not really impressed with that. So um, that's it. I will be seeing you guys very soon once again. I just thought you guys would enjoy this unboxing. And um, just wanted to show off some more of my lanyard making here. Not bad for the first time. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway soon. Actually, you know what? Let's do a giveaway right now. So... Um, like, subscribe, share, and then send me a message on my Instagram at Moto Knives and Guns by JT, and let me know that you've done all that. And I will pick one person, and I will do a lanyard for you. Just send me a picture of your knife. But like, 
subscribe, share. Let me know you, you've done all that. I'll, I'll be confirming that. And, um, and I'll send you one of these. All right. Thanks for checking out these knives with me. I appreciate you very much. Take care of yourself. See you on the next one.